Hello, people of YouTube. It's another Monday here, and you know what that means. I gotta go through all this stuff right here to find like 20 items to ship out. And please, forgive all this mess right here. I, I just got back from Florida. I got all this inventory that I need to go through and list. I just ain't got around to it yet. And admittedly, I went out to the flea market yesterday to add to all the chaos and the stuff that I need to get listed. Actually, here, look at this. Sneak peek at the stuff to come, but that is not for today. I need to get my stuff out. And it looks like my first order is gonna be in bin W. Which is right over here, bin W. All right. Oh. And it looks like our first item here is right under Mickey Mouse right there. Here it is. This bad boy right here is a Lacoste lightweight hoodie sold for 40 bucks. And our next item is actually below bin W here in the Chamber of Secrets. This is an Italian bicycle seat. It's in pretty good condition. You can see the brand name right there. Selly, Sella, Sele, I'm not really sure. You tell me. I may not know how to say its name, but I still sold it for 40 bucks. Moving on, we've got this guy. It's hard to open this thing with one hand. There we go, right there, a Simply Safe keypad. And I don't think I showed you guys the video of me picking this up. I picked it up in Indianapolis. I was out there to do some rock climbing and went to a thrift store, found a whole box of Simply Safe stuff. Roll that clip right now. So check this out. I didn't see a price on it yet, so I'm gonna have to ask, but it is a Simply Safe kit. And some of these little pieces to them can have like 20, $25 values. And there's a bunch of boxes in here. Unfortunately, it feels like some of them are empty. But still, that's cheap enough. I think I'll go ahead and grab it. Like some of these sensors right here, this can be like 20 bucks. So I'm gonna see if they can price it out for me. So I ended up getting that whole box for like five bucks and sold this one by itself for 35. And then we gotta go up right there to that box. It's got some Monster High dolls in it that need to go out. We got this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> These have been flying out of my store. I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on Monster High stuff. And then next up, we got a LASIK diaper bag right there, sold for 50 bucks. There she is. Ooh, and look at that. The next sale here is a big one. Hello, Sonos. This boy right here is that Sonos Connect I picked up at the worst rated thrift store in Cincinnati for $7, and it sold for 225 bucks. <laughs> you just gotta love when there's high ticket items sell. I love it. And staying on the electronic side, got a pair of headphones. Not those ones, not those ones, not those ones. There they are, the Sony headphones, and these guys sold for 30 bucks. And next here, we've got a cat eye bicycle computer. There we go, right there, a Cat Eye Velo 9 sold for 25 bucks. You might remember, I picked up a bunch of these at the thrift store for like five bucks a piece, and they've been selling really, really regularly, especially now that we're getting towards the springtime when everybody's riding their bikes, so keep an eye out for cycling stuff. It sells very well. Back to the bins, we got bin L here, my current working bin. There's a pair of shorts in here that I just sold. These right here are some Magellan cargo pants, the brand new with tags ones I picked up in Florida, sold for 15. This Rolling Stones reprint shirt sold for 23. A Roughwear dog vest for 45. And some MTV lounge fly patches for 13. Speaking of which, I have a ton of these in different varieties, so if anybody wants some or wants to work on deal on some wholesale, let me know. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you that sold today is right up there, right there. And it's a pretty solid sale. These guys right here, are some Jordan 4 Retros from 2019, and they sold for $148. Nice sale right there. And now that I've got this lovely pile of stuff to ship out, I'll see you guys in just a second once it's all packed up. And just like that, there we are. All packed up and ready to go. All right, look at that. Had some goodies from Whatnot come in too. Maybe I'll do an unboxing later. Now though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit a thrift store, then I'm gonna go climbing, and then we'll head back home for the rest of the video. All right, it decided to rain a little bit on us, but we're here at Salvation Army. Let's see what we find today. Check this one out over here on the hats. Look at that puppy right there. Hard Rock Cafe Paris in the color blocking pattern. Pretty dang sweet Hard Rock Cafe official tag. I think we'll go ahead and grab that. Check this one out right here, Denim Supply Ralph Lauren. I don't pick up a ton of Ralph Lauren, but this is one of the things I look for, Denim Supply. This one's got the big spell out on the front, and look at that pattern. That's what people like to tag as Aztec pattern, Southwestern pattern, only $3.99. That is going to be a nice little score right there, picking that up for sure. I'm gonna need to go grab a cart. 
There we go, much better. And then looky here, just an aisle down from that last hoodie, got another piece. You guys know that brand right there? Can you tell by that logo? I'll give you a couple seconds to guess. We're gonna be paying five bucks for it. And if you guessed independent trucks, you are correct. It's a good skate brand. It's a good vintage skate brand. And then on the back here, Look at that huge spell out independent truck company skate stuff has been coming back, especially some of the older companies. So that is definitely a pickup. OK, OK, OK. Tell me, what are those hiding over here? I don't know if someone stashed these or what garbage pail kids for 35th anniversary shorts. Look at that garbage pail kit, like its head exploding right there. And on the back, got another one and it has the garbage pail logo over here. And then check it out. They're actually vintage on the chalk line tag. That is pretty cool. Going to be paying five bucks on those. Those are just too cool in the cart. All right, then looky here. Got a little piece for whatnot. Got an all over print. Alaskan bush have plane will travel. That's a pretty cool piece. It's got the map up here. Got some people got some wildlife with the dogs down there. That's an overall cool piece for five bucks. We'll take that. That'll be good on whatnot. And then it looks like we got another little t-shirt over here. We got uh, the mountain piece. It's got a big skeleton on the front. It's got a really cool graphic actually. And I think it was dated down here. Yeah, 2015. I've been selling a lot of the mountain over on whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that for an upcoming auction at five bucks. Why not? All right, that ended up being a pretty solid trip right there. Got a whole bag of stuff. And that haul right there was actually, thanks to today's video sponsor, Current. If somehow you don't know what Current is, it's the future of online banking. It's banking built for the next generation, the current generation, not that old school stuff. I'm telling you, I love using it. It's super easy and intuitive, and I can control everything from my phone, which is super nice when you're making as many purchases as I am. Not to mention when you partner their debit card with your app, you don't have to worry about spending money and not knowing your account balance. It's all right there for you. And actually, Current just got even better with their new interest feature, which gives you 4% APY, which is 60 times the national average. Kind of crazy. And that's not even the best part. Current has offered to give away $100 to one of you guys right now watching this video just for going down low using the link in the description and signing up for their service using the code resell. Not a bad deal. You get an app and online banking that can help improve your business and you get a chance to win a hundred bucks. So thank you Current for being today's video sponsor and now let's go open some packages. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up some of these whatnot packages that I got in the mail. I got a bunch of stuff here that I've been saving up over the last week or so. And I wanted to open these up on camera because I still get a ton of people who comment on my videos saying that you can't source on whatnot and it's simply not true. I do it every single week. I mean, if you can't find stuff to resell on there, then what do you call this stuff? And this stuff and these. I personally call that potential future profit, but if you're going to sleep, then that's on you. Now let's go ahead and open up those packages packages and see what's inside. I've honestly forgot exactly what I ordered. So this is going to be fun for me as well as for you. I think we'll start with one of these bigger boxes. <laughs> and look at that. This big package is full of little packages. And just as a side note, if you are a seller, don't do this. Don't put flat rate packages inside a flat rate box. That's actually not allowed. And if the post office catches you, you can get in trouble. All right. What's inside bag number one? Okay. This would be the first one I pull. This right here is a Goldberg shirt. Look at that thing. Old school wrestling, WCW Goldberg wrestling shirts are super hot right now. And this is not a cheap one. I think I paid up for this one. I paid like, I want to say like 50 or 60 bucks on this guy, but there is still plenty of profit there. And since I pulled that shirt first, I know what auction this box came from. And the majority of the shirts in this are actually wrestling related. And the rest of them I paid between like one and five bucks for the next one here is a Crime Time shirt. Look at that one. That's a pretty cool graphic on the back. Just has a bunch of yo's. Pretty sweet one. Oh, and this one isn't a wrestling one. This is actually a vintage Diet Coke t-shirt. And I believe this one was marked somewhere. This was like 1980s. And I got this one for like a buck. I remember buying that one. Package number two. Next up, we've got a, I think this is the Wu-Tang shirt. Wu-Tang tie-dye. A 2005 Triple H shirt, or at least I think that's Triple H. I'm pretty sure it is. King of Sports, New Japan Wrestling, Wonderland of Wrestle, USA. And this next one here, I don't really remember, but it says Death Heaven, Death Haven, something like that. I'm not really sure about that shirt. I don't remember buying that one, but it looks like a heavy metal tee. Package number three. There was four packages in that box, so one more after this. We've got a Kodama's Play 2 shirt. Oh, this one's really cool. Look at the graphic on this. 
Judge Dredd. It's on like a old school Jersey style t-shirt. I really love that one. That's a really cool piece. Okay, I remember getting this one too. This was a pretty good one, if I remember right. 1995. Alistair Crowley shirt right there. If I remember right, that has some good value behind it. And I remember I ended up sniping that one for like six bucks, so nice profit there. And then the final one for this bag, we've got the Colony Extreme Force. Really cool, like superhero graphic. One more package in this box. First up, Diamond Dallas Page WCW shirt, self high five. Yes, 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 Daniel Bryan. Here's a pretty cool graphic, superstar Billy Graham. And the final piece of that box, <laughs> I don't know what this is, SCW Screamin' Cheetah Wheelies. I'm not sure about that one. I don't know what that is, but I got it. Oh, it looks like it's signed up here too. Oh, and the invoice for that was at the bottom of the box, so here it is, just so you guys know. I'm not joking, I paid like one to five bucks for all those shirts except for that Goldberg shirt. I think it's safe to say I'm going to make profit on that first box. Next, let's go ahead and knock out these little individual ones. I think we'll start with donuts, because donuts are fun. There we go. Oh, okay, I remember this one. This one I actually didn't buy. I won this in a giveaway, just like one of the raffles. Wanted the Wet Bandits Home Alone t-shirt. Next package here. Okay, Stanley Cup Champions tee. I think I ended up paying a buck for that one. And if you guys couldn't see, that is the New York Rangers, and it's actually dated down here on the bottom, 1994. And then the last of these solo packages. Oh, actually, that's a return. That's a return from eBay. It's not a whatnot purchase. And I think I'll save the other two boxes for the ends, and we'll open up this big bad boy right here. I don't remember who this one's from, though. Oh, yeah, look inside there. There's quite a few shirts. All right, first one's a skate tee, Spitfire. Then we got a little bit of ZZ Top. This one's got a cool graphic on it. Look at that. The girl and the skeleton on a motorcycle, front and back graphics, and it is on a Rock Chang tag. Never seen that tag before. There it is, Rock Chang. All right, look at that. There's a brand we picked up earlier today, actually. Independent Trucks. This is just a little basic tee. I think this one right here is a hoodie or a sweatshirt. Yeah, that's a fun little piece right there. Look at that. 90s SeaWorld piece. Got a little Shamu on the front. Who let the tears out? Vintage Logo 7 Vikings t-shirt. And actually, I remember this one now. This was actually a two-piece bundle. Another Minnesota Vikings Logo 7. And this one's actually got, like, the jersey stripes on the sleeve. And then the final piece. This really cool, like, Blackhawk, like, 90s computer simulation t-shirt. Front and back graphics right there. I actually like that one. I might wear that one around for a while. And that actually did not have the invoice in there, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure I paid between, like, one and five bucks on all of those again. I really hope this is showing you guys that you can buy a lot of stuff on Whatnot for resale. And we're not done yet. We still got two boxes to go. Let's pop her open. Oh, I <laughs> ripped the side. And check that out. Right on top right there, they left me a little note. So thank you, Vintage Breezy. Go check him out, Whatnot Instagram. And he actually mentioned the Goosebumps tea in there. So I know what's in this package and there's some good stuff. The first one in this box is pretty basic, but it's brand new with tags, Nebraska Huskers. This one's pretty sweet. Look at the graphic on this guy. Sheesh, look at that. That eagle with the lightning in the background. That's a cool piece. Okay, okay, I want to know how many of you guys know this. Know this show right here, Bananas in Pajamas. I used to watch this when I was little. It was like one of those like PBS shows, I think. Am I the only one who remembers them? Then we've got another little nature piece right here. Some dolphins front and back print. A really, really cool 1994 Red Wing shirt. And then my favorite piece. I hope this fits me, but I'm not sure. Look at this guy. The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Goosebumps original, 1996 front and back graphic shirt. Super, super cool, but unfortunately, I think it's going to be a little small on me, so... Ugh. If anybody comes across Vintage Goosebumps in a size large, let me know because I'll buy it. And now the final box right here. Oh, okay, this one's pretty basic. I know what's in this one. I'll just pull them all out at the same time here. We got a bunch of different brand new with tags, Levi's denim vests. They're in various sizes. I think there's like five of them here, but here's what they look like. They're just basic yellow denim vests. Get each of these for like five bucks a piece. And that, everybody, is the stuff that I purchased on Whatnot this week. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap things up for this video. I hope that you guys all enjoyed and learned a thing or two. If you did learn something, let me know what it was down in the comments below. And now I've got to get this stuff put up, and I will see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.